Hello everybody, today I'm here to talk about activity alias. So what is activity alias? It preserves your app launcher and don't bind your app to any activity. In a normal scenario, whenever we make an app launcher, it is associated with one launcher activity that and to that activity which has an intent filter of launcher action. So what does activity alias actually do? Activity alias actually bind a string to the target activity using that intent filter of launcher. Uh, so what is the use of this? So the use of this particular so use developer have a chance to change the launcher activity without changing the launcher and all. So if the user is using your app very frequently, so they have most of the time they place the shortcut to the home home screen. So if you update your launcher, that is the launcher activity, then your all all shortcuts will get deleted from the user home screen or where, wherever they have put in your shortcut inside a folder or anywhere else. So user may have a chance to lose your app. Like in today's scenario, everybody have a 40, 50, then plus app gets installed in their phones. So if you update your app in activity tag and you change the launcher activity, so the whole shortcuts will get deleted. So there will be an annoying situation that where the particular app launcher is gone. So just to avoid this kind of scenario, activity alias has come. So first tech, what is the prerequisite for this course? Uh, this is, you know how to create an activity, you know what is manifest in Android and you are very familiar with the intent filter. So let's move on. So this is a normal way where we every day in every app we use this and an activity tag containing the name intent filter of name and the category and closing tag so what the will what the way we will change the particular we will change using the activity alias and activity alias have a two attribute uh, that is the main uh, that is the name you can place any name here this is not a you can place launcher launcher activity your launcher anything it is not mandatory and it is up to you what you want but this is the main target activity where you want to user to move or you want to associate which launcher to which activity so this and this is the whole similar intent filter with the name category name and there is a closing tag so one thing which you have to remember your all activity entry should be ever alias tag so otherwise your activity won't be find it and your your app won't be get installed so it is a main case so you have to remember so just move on to the code part so this is just sample project nothing else in it, it contains a one activity that is welcome hello from old activity and you also have a old activity and this is one is the new activity hello from the new activity and it contains two activity new launcher activity and the old launcher activity so come on to the manifest part so in this manifest whatever we are doing uh, we have an activity that is old launcher activity have a associated with the launcher and we have a one entry of the new launcher activity so just let's run this app and see what's what is going to happen here so here it is you will find this device to get spent it's running 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 installing apk So it's launching the activity and here is our activity hello from the old activity that is this older old launcher activity was associated with this so now we want to change our activity from old to new so we will just add new and here we will put old okay and one more thing which we have to do like uh, we want to place our app shortcut in home screen here and just let's run this application and see what happened it's running this icon will get deleted because we now we have a new reference of that particular so just let's see uh, it's launching and here once it gets launched we will go to the home screen to say oh hello from the new activity so we have a new launcher but 
our launcher has gone just because now we have a new reference of launcher like we have changed from the old to the new so just to avoid this scenario we will go with the activity alias and we will just make this as a launcher activity in the name and we will also get a target activity that is our old activity and here we have and in this we have a new launcher so you also have to maintain and we will move this in the up because this is the mandatory case so now again we will launch our activity launch our app sorry and it's running installing apk so so here we will have a from hello from old activity now we will again go to the manager package manager and we will place a home shortcut here okay and now we will change this to a new new activity so here comes the magic we will again run the app it will start okay and now this our launcher will be preserved because it is not bind to the particular activity because it is bind with the launcher activity string so our no launcher will get deleted no shortcuts will get deleted and there will be no annoying behavior for the user so we have a hello from the new activity and we have our shortcut preserve here so if we click we are to the new activity so hey so so the whole tutorial was on this so this way thanks for watching and please like comment and subscribe my channel to get updated on everything thank you for watching and please leave your comments below